Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 10, and we're going up against an alliance called Ghost Ship. Not Ghost Dog, but Ghost Ship. All right, now, I made a very poor decision. I won't call it a mistake, because it was deliberate, but it was a very poor decision. You see the team that I'm going in here with. Now, I looked on my path, and I saw an Annihilus. And I said, okay, you know what? Um, I can see the Annihilus. I know Hood would be good for him. Later on, as I was scouting my path out, I saw a um, Ebony Maul. And I'm like, okay, why don't I just go in with Ghost Team? Because Hood can handle Annihilus. And Wasp can handle Ebony Maw. And then Ghost should be able to handle anyone else, right? But there is a defense tactic called Stubborn. And I knew a little bit about Stubborn. But there was one little thing I had missed in the description. And that applied to Ghost. All right, so this first fight here, you see we... Uh, had a little difficulty early on, but we were able to come out, you know, our back was up against the wall, but we were able to uh, get this Annihilus down. Like I said, I was pretty sure uh, the Hood could do it. Uh, if you guys wonder why I took my Hood to rank 5, well, you're seeing it. He's actually a pretty decent champion. Now, I didn't dare try to uh, take on that Emma. She was linked. When I came back, she's down. So now we move on to Sector 2. Now, the stubborn defense tactic has a line that includes Ghost. If they miss, it will trigger. So I already knew that if you evaded, it would trigger the indestructible. But I didn't realize that it also did it on misses. I just didn't read it carefully enough. And so Ghost... She's not completely useless. She just cannot go up against defensive champions. If they have the hashtag defense, don't use ghost when they have the stubborn defense tactic. Um, so that's it. You see, you can see it right there. And I was like, oh man, I was kicking myself. But he's not a defensive champion. So... She will do just fine. And I want you to see why they had that defense tactic uh, set up the way they did. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm ignoring the node. And it's going to bite me. But just look at this. Fight's over. Ghost, without the stubborn, would tear up. She would decimate defenses. So they had to do something. Uh, her and uh, Quake. So next up. We've got Ebony Maw. Uh, Wasp is great to fight against him. Uh, when he gets his focus and he gets a certain number of charges, I forget what it is, 20 or 30, um, and it's like every, I don't know, 20, 10? Uh, I don't really know that much about him. Uh, you want a heavy attack to break his focus like that. And he won't be building it up. And you don't want him to build it up because it's annoying. You will get falter. But with Ghost, you're going to get an in because even if you can't parry him, like I can't parry him right there, you know, reparries work. But if you didn't parry him, Wasp um, will still be able to uh, do a three hit combo and a heavy and break his uh, focus. I think I said Ghost before, but um, I meant Wasp. Now, here, this fight, I messed up. Okay. Um, and you'll see just how badly I played this. Now, this one has the added complication of Buffet. Now, despite all of the nodes that are on here, I should have been able to deal with this. All right, now you'll notice that I she didn't take any damage that first time and that one there too. Uh, the reason is one of the nodes it says that they can use one of their armor ups in order to take zero damage. She gets an armor up periodically. So 
every time it goes down, she will just get, you know, it'll just keep coming back. And I realized, whoa, that's actually a pretty decent placement for her. You know, I've never fought her on this note. So we've got Buffet, and every time I'm getting my Furies, uh, and they're expiring, she's getting, you know, her health back. You know, I was not paying attention there. And I didn't fight the node properly. So I should have fired off my special to get a reset. I didn't. And what ends up happening is I get to where they're zero, and I'm not getting any power whatsoever. So I'm not gonna be able to get to a special two and do the usual ghost wrecking. So I boxed myself into a corner and I saw that and look at and I'm looking at the regen and I'm like, wow. If I don't end this, she's gonna end up back at full health. Okay? So now I could have still played this a little bit better. Uh one of the things now that I'm thinking about it, and I see and I realized what was happening after the fight. Uh, what you want to do is you want to, you know, fire off your heavy. That would have put her digi cloak on cooldown. Then you want to do one hit combos. Yep, her um, her armor up will eat one of them, but then you have a bit of time in between. So when I saw this, I said, let me just stop because I don't know how I'm going to handle this. Um, like I said, I, I figured it out later. All right, so that is it for my participation in this war so that's how if i have to fight that node again now that i had time to think about it and analyze the fight uh that's what i would have done uh going into this fight you have to play the node remember i said in one of my previous uh wars that ignoring the node which i can do with certain champions would eventually bite me in the butt well you saw what happened there I didn't play the node, and uh, I got power locked, basically. I power locked myself because I didn't fire off my specials to reset, and uh, the fact that her armor up, she gets it back. I forget how often. It's like 12 seconds or something like that. Uh, what you need to do is just uh, understand that it's going to come back. So you phase, do a one hit combo, it's gonna go down, she'll take zero damage. Then you just keep doing that. Phase, one hit, phase, one hit. If her digit cloak is off cooldown, fire off your heavy. The buffet is a problem, but you should be able to out damage it with ghost if you do take ghost in, which I don't recommend. Uh, I won't do that again, okay? But uh, I was so upset. You know, I was like, man, I'm going to go in with a team that I don't normally go in with and see if we can have a little fun, do something a little bit different. No. Um, like I said, Ghost can work on Stubborn, but it can't be against a defensive champion. So as long as it's not defensive champions, bring Ghost. She can do some work. Um, but that's it for my participation. And we'll back in, be back in a minute and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war despite my failures. Uh, we got all three of our bosses down. They left one of our bosses up, so that's pretty much an automatic win. All right, now this was the first war that I placed with suicides this season. After our loss in the last war, uh, our officer said, go ahead and place with suicides because we were, those of us who um, run suicides all the time, we're investing units in every war. Every war this season, except for this one, I invested about 80 units into the war because I had to switch out, place my defense, and then switch back. So uh, I was very happy to hear that. Uh, but in any case, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And 
you all have a blessed day.